That's all right. And hey, there we go, Sosuke. We're here. You don't have to have your patience tested anymore. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to the super special Monday, Monday, Monday episode of the Slice of Shonen podcast, episode 15. I couldn't believe that, honestly. But of course, as always, I am your host on the boat, Sailor. And we got some things to talk about this week. Uh, not a lot. Just because holidays, obviously, hopefully your weekend was all good. Uh, even if you don't celebrate Easter, hopefully you've been doing well. All that good stuff. Let me check to see if the music is too loud. No, it looks like it's fine. But uh, yes, hope you guys had a good weekend. Uh, ate some candy. Uh, did whatever the fuck. Slept. I've been sleeping recently. It's been amazing. But uh, of course talking about some chapters as you can see by the title we got black clover we got jujitsu kaisen and we have goodbye airy came out last week but since we didn't have really much to talk about this week we wanted to save it till now how does that work out anyway obviously i am not alone to not too many people here though uh that's okay but we've assembled a little squadron here la squadra we have the cooking taco we have the crocodile we have the me how's it going and we have the zenith Annie manga uh just Hi. real quick before we jump in i just wanted to say you know shouts out to all of you who are either watching this right now or listening to the vod i know this is not our normal time some of you are probably still in school i know sky and moss he just messaged us they were just like hey uh that's in the middle of my day chief so uh, i can't really make it so i know it's kind of out of the way this week but we appreciate you whether you're listening or uh listening later or listening now but uh oh yeah also hold Hello, on we got another person oh we do who we got okay. right. part of the podcast oh well, hey ty yeah <laughs> is that the title yeah right <laughs> meanwhile hold on i'm just gonna display the uh art here oh doesn't Oh, I got to bring it over to this screen. Whoops. Uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, just displaying the thumbnail mm -hmm. art, obviously, from Goodbye Airy. Here it is on the Reddit. I have linked it down in the description below, obviously, if you want to check it out down there. I've also linked the artist's Twitter if you want to go look at some of their other stuff. But, uh, yeah, it looks very nice, very clean. Is there anything you guys would like to say before we get started? Let's talk Black about over. some yeah. Fucking happy manga. to be here yeah because <laughs> i've decided that i have some opinions today on and god you all have the grave misfortune of hearing them on god yep. okay all right so i got a little bit of an order here first we're gonna talk about uh black clover we're gonna save goodbye area until the end because that shit was 200 pages we're obviously gonna be talking about that the longest here so we're gonna be talking about black clover first and then jjk obviously so, so uh how black clover feeling? makes me feel nothing <laughs> at least nothing good yep I <laughs> nothing reading the chat i was thinking about uh, it you want to know it's funny good to be so detached i i was thinking about it right and like after I read the chapter and I was like, do I want to do the same thing I did last week where I have the pain music and all that stuff? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I got stun locked nah, nah. by Sosuke's comment there for a second. <laughs> but yeah, I was thinking about it and then I was just like, nah, honestly, because at the end of the day, I was right. This this went almost exactly yeah. how I was expecting. Like I dead ass word for word, bar for bar. I was just like, Mimosa's just gonna get fed by Charmy and then she's gonna heal him. That's exactly what fucking happened. <laughs> and drama like the I moment where Charlotte confesses her love to Yami, and then he gets up and he's like, "What were you saying?" I didn't. Oh hear my god, that I was like. About Entire yeah, that, <laughs> that, that was like. Sums up everything I feel. Yeah, like, wow, that could have been a really good emotional moment, but no, it's not. Man, and I, it's uh, like I love the things thing. that this arc has changed. Uh, was was some power oh, yeah, ups that gave some characters some power ups, and that's really it, you know. Yeah, yeah. honestly, and I was going um, to say it. Um, this arc just now that it's complete, it feels like this arc was set up to be something else and now that it's en ended it's over now and it just feels like we're just it, it was trying to set the status quo back like we're, we're just going yeah, back to the status I, uh, quo i loved it 
and uh, by what I mean I love it, I mean it was terrible, but very in line for Black Clover was Vect was a, oh no, they're died. What can we do? We have Oh no my magic. god, bro. Two, that two shit annoyed later. me. Two panels later. Hey guys, that my magic That shit annoyed back. me, bro. Straight up. This, I was like, why are nice y'all capping? I had some magic. Mm. Uh, it literally, yeah, it, it literally yeah. like this entire arc was like set up to be like the biggest arc. It's like the most dangerous antagonist we've ever gone up against. Yeah. They had to train multiple times. They had to mm -hmm. like, there was so much like this arc was so long, not as long as like the reincarnation arc or saga or whatever you want to call it. But it's like there was so much going into this and then it ends with a fucking whimper. Just like yeah. it goes out on the most anticlimactic note yep. I have ever seen. Yeah. And like, it, it, it literally was like, okay, Lucifer was defeated last chapter. And then this chapter is just like, oh no, everyone's like hurt. Well, never mind. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and that's the thing too. Cause uh I I wanted to just now that it's over, everybody, I wanted to provide an interesting statistic here. Um Lucifero had over 100 chapters of buildup. He died in 13 to set up another villain. So, yeah, he was he was just a he was just a setup guy. All the setup he had was just well, to set up another person. Why well, I shouldn't say he died because I died in I, quotation marks there, but well, okay. he got taken actually, out to set up somebody else. Little because it's interesting and i agree that statistic i'm totally with you that's mm. so weird right yeah but the the issue with it isn't that this is what happened it's just tabata's timing with everything yeah the timing fast. has been really bad like black clover it has such fast pacing it keeps going and it's like sometimes that's to its benefit but when it comes to like really important plot points, everything just comes way too fast. Mm -hmm. So like the whole deal where you have like Lucifero and he's the he's the top dog. He is the strongest devil. And now he's been seemingly usurped by his you know one of yeah. his i guess subordinates in a way maybe but not really <laughs> no i was about to say him. yeah I, I don't think weird. he's a subordinate but yeah the problem with that in its own is i just straight up don't know what the hierarchy what the the social structure just the general structure of power in the underworld is we don't know mm. that because it's not shown to us so even though technically this arc did break the status quo, it did so in a dimension that we are barely shown, so it has <laughs> no impact. We were given barely any time with Lucifero as the top guy, so yeah. it doesn't feel like anything when that changes, and nothing else meaningfully changes on the in the you know the world we do know and have spent hundreds of chapters in yeah so I mean, that, that's just how it is like with this series it does it so much i feel like there's so many great moments that well no so many good moments that would be great if they were just given a little more time yeah i, I was about to say if they happen later the, yeah well it, just even with pacing wise i feel like like the whole backstory with with uh lisita right like mm -hmm. i thought that would have been way better if that was just like one extra chapter and then she died because you know i would have given more of a shit about her it's like he introduces her and then she's dead in that same chapter practically it's <laughs> it just like i don't like i don't feel anything for her if she's just gone yeah and you want to know it's crazy too because i felt a similar way because this morning i woke up and i was rereading those chapters where lucifero was introduced so i could see like okay how exact how long was he here before he got taken out um and fuck man it, it's like you said the pacing is insane like reading those like usually like for example for a series like one piece right like for wano it, it, it specifically really like I'll read it week to week and like there may be a chapter or two where I'm like meh on but I'm like you know what this will probably hit different on a reread 
And usually it does. And then I get to Black Clover and I'm like, it'll probably be different on a reread. No, it almost feels a little worse because now that I have the whole lineup right in front of me, it's like, Jesus, it's literally Lucifero is dog walking the fuck out of everybody. Asta powers up, beats him in five seconds, and then he's gone. What? <laughs> like, what? and it, like they even say, like, and this is going back to what people were saying earlier about how, like, oh, he's only at 50%. Um, the devil, uh, the other devil, AD, uh, he, he was just like, bro, even at 50%, even though he's not fully manifested, he's far beyond all of you. And, like, in terms of physical strength, in terms of magic, this dude's like above y'all. It's not even a question. And Asta was just like, eh, nah. <laughs> and it's like, man, dude, if only we could have had a little bit of extra time to like really sit with some of this shit, I feel like it could have been good. But like I said earlier, I feel like this was just a rush to return things back to the status quo because it feels like all of the consequences that were set up in this arc, especially towards the tail end, were just complete they were just completely taken away in a couple of chapters like this man tabata pump faked so much and now you have towards the end here where ad is like all right bro i got your heart i'm heading out which by the way no one like reacts to it like i can under don't get me wrong i understand that like everyone is fucking exhausted like asta literally falls over he's like bro i can't do this shit anymore man everybody is exhausted i told i'm not expecting everybody to well it's black clover surpass your limits maybe they would but like i i'm not expecting people to like get up and be like yeah now we gotta take you down no all right but like one reaction to of someone being like oh fuck you know like but all right that that's i guess i don't even think that's no, nitpicking but that's like a small thing curious of what he's doing yeah just like, right yeah, whatever. exactly like i feel like that should matter a lot more and uh in the chapter it's not really presented as such um but whatever right whatever uh, it's <laughs> it, it, it just man everything that was being it, set up just it's it doesn't it doesn't matter <laughs> what what does it matter anymore man it's just so disappointing it really um fucking like i saw someone on twitter say something and i kind of agreed with what they were saying where it was like for how long this arc was for how much build up there was for like these are like the the like most ultimate villains we've had to this point mm -hmm. like the all of the uh dark triad dark triad had like ties to like the main three characters you know with asta and yeah literally know, the main three well, characters like, each had their the, the dark triad was like made to fight them yeah it was like there's so much stuff being set up and like it really nothing really changed like no. nothing really happened like we got some power-ups and no, we got some power up. We're like, all yeah. right, let me, let me, let me get and, better. Let me get stronger real quick. This arc was literally say, just yeah, like, well, it was I'll just made to it. power up our characters. It felt like at the end of the day. And I don't, uh, and I want to, I want to make it clear. Like, I don't think every arc needs to be like ground, you know, breaking and no, no, absolutely not. This one should that's be not though. Necessary. Yes. Like that, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying for the type of arc that this was like, presenting itself as where it was like this is a big major arc like we're getting uh asta's true backstory we're getting more about noel's backstory we're getting yuno's full backstory it's like you would think like with all of these revelations and all of these major villains and all this stuff like that's happening it's like you would think something would happen and it really doesn't like it really didn't yeah like and Nothing like really too major. I feel so indifferent. By the way, thank you. It's same twenty. I appreciate the love, brother or sister. I don't know who you are. They, them. I don't know your pronouns, dude. I'm not trying to disrespect you or anything. But um, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know you, but I love you. Uh, anyway, um, 
and like you have the whole stuff with uh ad taking his heart and it's like man how am i supposed to like am i supposed to feel scared because it's sort of like what zenith brought up last week literally none of the characters reacted why the fuck should i be worried why should i care he's probably gonna take his heart and i don't know he'll do something with it or like there's a fourth zagrid twin and not twin but like there's a fourth zagrid member there's like a fourth member of the dark triad essentially uh, are they gonna take it back to them don't know yeah because there is the older brother that we still haven't seen the one yeah the gonna take it back to them? Like the we have no yeah. idea yeah it's like i yeah why should i be scared up really perfectly he's gonna do something with the heart i don't i don't really care uh yeah it's like there's literally no reason for me to be worried because i just sat through an arc where you were just like oh they're gonna die ah not really oh maybe this time ah no nah, i'm just messing with you oh maybe this time nah hey you know you know like it's dead ass a situation where it, it's dead ass the boy who cried wolf and it's like at this point i was gonna say that yeah yeah i'm not even asking i mean like that was another thing that like sort of like i wish more people like understood where people would ask like why is there so many people calling for death it's because tabata kept fucking like hey these people are gonna die these people are gonna die yeah, yeah, everyone's gonna die string, yeah. yeah he kept fucking throwing it in our faces like people are going to die everyone dies and it's like uh, all right man cool so like at this point i'm not even asking for death like anymore because the arc is fucking done i'm just asking for any type of consequences because the pre-time skip of black clover was really good at doing that because it wasn't about characters dying or anything like that because the characters were already experiencing like the worst parts of the world so why would they have to experience loss as well and like i feel like that just would not fit tonally with black clover in the pre-time skip but it was still very good at providing consequences for these arcs like perfect example asta and everybody beat veto and asta couldn't just walk away from that his arms were fucked so then they, they had to go to the witch queen force and that was a whole nother thing that they had to deal with and then they had to deal with the fucking um eye of the midnight sun there too and it, it was a whole fucking situation and it was it was just so good because we knew our characters were going to win but it was so good at presenting a, the the focus was on the struggle how much these characters are going through how hard they're fighting how far they're willing to go to keep fighting and the the things that come like the consequences after that it was so good at doing that and now you get here and this arc literally rips all of that away it sets it up and then does nothing with it and it's like my brother in christ what are you doing <laughs> what were you saying like, yeah. pre pre time skip i think what uh i find interesting about pre time skip is a lot of it focused around like all the mostly like the nobles and all the people who re their reaction to the black bulls like how shitty they are mm -hmm. and it's just them proving themselves but then by the time pre time skip happens they already kind of believed that the black rolls were cool. They're like, yeah, you're you're pretty good. So most of the consequences weren't just like, what are the gonna be the, what are the people gonna think about the black bulls if we fuck this up? It's more of just who's gonna die now, or just like it 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 sets up so little consequences for this uh pre times or, or post time skip. Mm. yeah and i've seen like a lot of like black clover people you know defending this and they bring up like the whole death uh doesn't equal stakes and all that stuff like sailors brought up a bunch of times well, and it's like, like i agree with sailor. and it's, they, they, and they I, just didn't bring up anything else for a stake that's what i was gonna say though is like even mm. if you want to say death doesn't equal stakes or death isn't the only stake it's like those were the stakes this, for this if arc. you if you look if you look at like every other series so far like the black bulls or not even the black bulls just the main characters they've only suffered two major defeats and that was you know and the golden dawn which i think is just the best defeat because it's like yeah half of them died cool yeah oh, yeah it's fucking cool. and then asta losing when uh, zenon shows up and he steals uh yami 
after they beat uh, Dante. So mind you, that's a defeat where they lost Yami after a fight they won. Yeah. And it was a sneak attack. So it's like yeah. in the context, it really wasn't that big of a defeat. Like they lost Yami, but it's like, well, they already won the fight. They just yeah. got caught off guard and they were already exhausted. It's like, so we're 330 or however many fucking chapters into this series. And they've never really lost. They've only, you know, the only one that's experienced an actual loss. Mm -hmm. And I would say, you know, has by far the best fight in this arc. Because oh, yeah, of that absolutely. Moment. Oh, absolutely. So, we, so it's like, how can you say that it's like stakes don't matter? Like the, all this stuff when it's like, yeah, the best fight in the series was because of what happened to, you know, where he lost half of his brigade. Yeah, exactly. Half of his brigade died. So death did play a part into making that fight good yeah <laughs> stakes do that man and it's like yeah and it's like and i've seen a lot of like black clover fans comparing it to other series saying like oh you know naruto bleach one piece they have a lot of plot armor there's a lot of conveniences They've one lost, piece yeah yeah like the biggest one i've seen is like one piece where it's like oh only two characters like died within like 600 chapters it's like well that's yeah that is true but that's ignoring the fact that in your own words death doesn't equal stakes yeah there was consequences in one piece long before that luffy's first yeah. major defeat crocodile and it was a big loss hey how's it going yeah <laughs> so it's like what Did yeah somebody it's, join it, it really well, he, did, he didn't just uh he didn't just lose to uh crocodile he lost like three separate times before he before he like beat him yeah, like, it was a really big loss. Yeah, saying, like he had, yeah, it's a, it's a, he literally has to like be better. He has to like in a short amount of time, but he does. He doesn't just like plot armor his way there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because you many different that, things happen in Alabasta. Yeah, dead ass. Even yeah. Then, it's, like, oh, even then, it's like even though people like these people sort of act like One Piece doesn't get its fair amount of shit. Like everyone gives shit for Dude. the dumb stuff it did in skypea with the soldiers just being alive like everyone is like, praying that do oda doesn't that. Bring, bring pedro back because we know he would do it <laughs> yeah <laughs> everyone is do, praying like, he Trump doesn't bring him, him back exactly <laughs> so like yeah bro i like i i love one piece it's my shit i criticize it all the same in terms of taking away tension and stakes so like this is not just a y'all thing. <laughs> yeah. But what I find so it weird and sex in Black Clover. It's like even with my harshest criticisms, I'm always like I always try to not be too mean about it because at the end of the day, even for the most dog shit manga, making a <laughs> weekly manga that is shit hard, is hard. Yeah. Know? Writing it weekly, drawing it weekly, it is difficult so even when something thing. is just straight up bad i'm not going to rush to this author just doesn't know how to do this but i'm genuinely wondering if he if tabata actually just understands how tension works because there's the whole moment where you know he he has his new devil union form and he has five seconds to win and it's like clearly that is meant to be oh he only has five seconds to win when clearly it's oh he's gonna beat him in five seconds it is this <laughs> blatant attempt to bring tension into the fight that just does the opposite and that's it's the thing such a bro. laughable failure of a of tension and that's that the I, thing. I don't yeah, Go ahead, I, I don't sorry. know how to judge it. Like, what the fuck is that? I, no, it's just that. That's it. I don't know what to say about that. I don't know if I if I can be like nice about that. That sucks, dude. And I I just it's I can't be nice about it in this scenario because it's like, my my man, why are you doing all of this shit? No one is forcing you to have fucking like. Oh, this character is gonna die. No one's forcing you to pump fake like that. No one is fucking forcing you to when Noct and Yami have literal shadow clones. No one is forcing you to have Lucifero donut their shit and then have them brought back in two pages. No one's forcing you to do that. Why are you doing oh. this? 
I will say there's probably stuff behind the scenes that we just don't know about because that's true. Because Black Clover has had some known. issues with editors. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So yeah, editor, I, can't, I guess editor, I can't be too mean about it. A a bad author and editor relationship can ruin any series. Yeah, like look what happened to Bleach. Like because editors hey. are like, well, editors are known for trying to force authors to keep characters alive yeah because if you keep a character alive then they're still marketable you can still sell their merchandise they're, they can still be popular and stuff which it's like i don't agree with that because look at ace he's still one yeah, of the most the, popular yeah, yeah. characters yeah one of the just, most popular characters yeah it's... it's just the way editors operate that's what they're told that's their job that's yeah. literally their job i was about right to like, say do this instead of this like yeah so if in a couple of years like it comes out like Tab tabata does an interview and it like comes out that like oh yeah i wasn't having the best you know time with my editors or with shonen jump or shueisha in general it's like yeah i could see that like yeah. i can feel it through this fucking manga you're putting out it doesn't feel like your best work that's true yeah i know them editors were fighting for their fucking lives they're like bro please don't kill yami please that's the thing, like, i won't i'm not gonna say anything about the because like i say it could be editors it could be you know he's married doesn't he have like a daughter like i don't know yeah he, he's been he's i hope been he's sick. doing well he yeah he, yeah that man has been sick. sick yeah he's probably been super fucking tired which are why the short chapters like we've gotten recently yeah i wish nothing but the best for that guy because so, i'm not gonna say like oh you know tabata you know he sucks but the money no. he's putting out right now does yeah i was about to say tabata as a human being is fucking sweet and wholesome and i wish nothing but the best for him that dude rules it's just the story like is said, not very good right now. This, this chapter I read, I did not like it. I'm yes. sorry about that. Like I, I'm sure you tried your hardest, but I just don't like this man. It's just yeah. not hitting. Yeah, it's just I don't know. I feel like I like I don't know where like <laughs> if I could make a black clover reference. Yeah, uh, y'all remember after the uh, the royal knight exams? Where like you know one and Asta got out of the hospital and he's like in a dazed state. He's like looking around. He's like, oh, like he's looking all over the place. That's me right now. I don't know what the fuck is happening. Like I don't know. I like I literally anything could happen right now. And it's like I like I I feel like I should be excited, but I'm not. Like I'm I'm gonna keep reading it obviously, but it's just like man. <laughs> like like i i almost feel like aimless in a way it's like oh man this is this is something you know it's like there's nothing interesting set up for what's gonna happen next like even if you you can argue that like oh well whatever the guy grabbing the heart that's that's gonna be interesting but like we don't know anything about what's going on there and we don't even not even any of the characters react to it as we said yeah. earlier so like what could happen in the future why should we care if nobody else in the series does because yeah. we should care because more characters are going to come to life that haven't been introduced yet <laughs> i was saying because like i i did think that uh ad taking the heart was interesting for sure it's just like I'm, immediately though i was just like well all right i guess like it's probably not gonna amount to too much because like again i just sat through an arc where stakes and consequences did not matter hey executioner we haven't talked about jjk yet we're just talking about black clover um but yeah it's just like man this it's just like i i want to be so excited for the future and i'm hoping the next chapter can like bring that but i don't know <laughs> i i genuinely do not know it just makes me sad all we do know <clears throat> is that next time they'll be stronger yeah right then next <laughs> yes. time they'll be even better next time asta's devil union is gonna be fucking infinite and it's it's gonna be fine uh, <laughs> you know, she's gonna have meteor magic you know god yeah the yeah, star magic though like... is pretty sick i love you know star magic oh yeah yes this really will be our black clover yeah right I don't know. Yeah, uh, that's the first line I've said in the last. I will say, <laughs> I will say though, uh, since we have complete W union, I'm a little sad. Asta doesn't have his normal arm back because I'm. I'm gonna be honest. That black arm is kind of stupid looking. I'm. A, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna keep it a buck. 
but um you know I, I mean hey as a man of melanin myself i love black things but this black arm ain't it ain't it ain't hitting i, I didn't think you were gonna <laughs> say anything after black i thought you were just gonna leave it there. <laughs> no yeah <laughs> nah this this black arm is not i i hope he gets it back because <laughs> like i hope fucking liab is like my fault og let me give you shit back and I hope they fucking give him the cloak that he had, the fucking Guts Berserk cloak that he had in uh, the movie trailer, because that shit looks sick. I want that to be his normal design. I hope that's the case. But, uh, yeah, that's. I think that's about it for me for this chapter of Black Clover. I guess the best way I could sum it up is disappointed but not surprised. Yeah. I, I last... just... Go ahead. Yeah, I yeah. just truly feel honestly better for this because for so long i've just been waiting for this arc to end so i could have an opinion and now that it's yeah. over and all of my fears about this arc have come to fruition that and and more i can let go of all detachment i i feel like black clover has truly enlightened me <laughs> like i like i am truly <laughs> no longer holding on to it I can Man. view it from a distance. I gotta Just... make this Black Clover video too. I gotta now. Uh, now yeah, this arc that's is unfortunate. Over. That sucks. <sighs> all, all I want to say is Mimosa is one of the greatest healers of all time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's the good. I feel so bad for knows. Mimosa. Cause everybody is hating on Mimosa. She didn't even do anything. It's just the writing behind it. Uh, everybody's just hating on Mimosa. I'm like, oh, I, I still like her. She's cool. It's just yeah, bullshit. No, I love her. <laughs> yeah, she's one of my favorite characters. She yeah. just unfortunately she's the healer of the series. So she yeah, no she's just, she's she suffering from a lot so of uh, not so great writing right now. Uh, yeah. It's unfortunate. Actually, that, that, that is, this is what I wanted to say. I, uh, okay. like, seriously, I forgot about this earlier. Yeah. Tabata doesn't, like, I don't know what it is, and I, I don't think this can be, like, an editor thing, unless it's, that editor is very specific. Because <laughs> it's, it's on him, when you're writing a series with superpowers and magic and all that shit, right? You get, it's on you to determine how those powers affect the story. Mm -hmm. And if you just make it so you can heal someone from near death, you gotta figure out how you're gonna do that. Because there are so many series that have those kinds of characters. And it's still, like... Like, it doesn't remove stakes entirely. And mm -hmm. it's... What, what what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> I don't know. Speaking don't know of powers, by the way, before we close out, this doesn't have anything to do with this chapter, but my God, Dorothy has got to be the most disappointing captain like ever. She has this oh, yeah, sick fucking magic and it sucks too because she really got to like really showcase her magic in an arc where niggas do not care about it. Like niggas, like fucking even little baby ass morris the guy who got taken out in like a chapter even though he had close to 200 chapter well i shouldn't say build up because he wasn't really built up i guess just foreshadowing is the best thing um <clears throat> but yeah that little well, baby quick, dick ass Morris was just like, yeah, I can affect concepts. And it's like, damn, man, fucking Dorothy getting smacked. Yeah, and then she goes up against Lucifero, and obviously she's gonna get smacked. It's like, damn, dude. <laughs> if you were introduced pre time skip, you'd be a god. <laughs> but uh, real quick, before we move on to JJK, I just wanna, because uh, Ty is one of the new members to the podcast, I just wanna ask him his thoughts. Ty, how do you feel about this moment in the chapter where Yami is about to die? He's on the verge of death. And oh. Charlotte confesses her love. Yeah, let's talk about him, that. Don't die. <laughs> and then the most he kills him. And then he gets up and he's like, what were you saying? <laughs> that is like it peak Nisekoi garbage. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. Continue. I, oh my God. I don't know Nisekoi if I have the control. words to really describe how much I despise that moment <laughs> because it, it it's just 
like, why not? Why not just it, let it happen? Exactly. Why not, <laughs> why not man? Why not? Then he would have to change the character the relationships. Why yeah. Not the next after we see them going on a cute little date, having fun, being uh, being together, just just give me something to look forward to in this series, man. man. It would have been because... so cool. It's because if he did that and they ended up together, that would change the status quo. That would change their yep, relationship. Yeah, exactly. He could, he could no longer do that gag of her getting, you know, all flustered whenever she's around Yami. Yeah, we can't oh, have a chapter of her running away from gag, Yami that anymore. Gag. It's not like yeah, he, he doesn't want that gag with guy. pasta and fucking you know. They're not allowed to grow with people. We already know this. Yeah. I can't I write a, a gag really chapter wrong. of. Or just wrong. I I can't write a gag chapter of her running away <laughs> from from Yami anymore if I do that, which like but man we can't, we can't have eight pages of the same gag anymore. It's yeah, it, it just made me so sad when I saw that fucking moment, man. Because it's like, what a shitty little end to her arc in this post time skip. <laughs> And, like, I know it's going to continue later on, but it's probably going to be the same old, same old until the fucking series ends. Like, all this time, I mean, like, this has been a thing for her since, like, the, like, the pre-time skip itself. Like, the, throughout the entire series, she's been having to battle with these emotions of, like, her having a crush on Yami and, like, her being the captain of her squad and things like that. And then you get to the post time skip where she like finally has the, the courage to confess to her squad about it. And everybody is like, oh, yes, that's so great. That's a, like, that's a, amazing for you. That's awesome. You know, and it's like, oh, this is going to be such a sweet moment. And, you know, Yami is just continuing to be oblivious, whatever. And it would have been so sweet for her to like confess, like, I love you. And Yami gets up and he hears that, you know, like. It, it would have been nice because like there was a whole thing where uh it, it was like a, it was a small little detail where um <clears throat> they were about to talk about the curse that she has and uh she's like oh that's all you wanted to talk to me about and he's like yeah what else would i talk to you about like what else w would we talk about it would have been so sweet for her to be like i love you and yami be like oh so that's what you meant all that time ago or something like that like that would have been really sweet. In the next chapter, I don't no, fucking he, know. He do. he, like no, no one. Like there'd be something funny or stupid or something to be like. Yeah, I know. Yeah, something, right. Something or like, like something like that. Yeah, it, it would have been sweet to like see them hang out or something. Like, like in some downtime before we start the next fucking saga. Like they just hang out or whatever. It would have been cool. Even if it's off screen, even uh, if another character is just like, oh, he's shit. hanging out with uh, fucking Charlotte or something. They're like, oh, that's cool. I want to give, give a shout out to Mini TM in the chat who said, Ark is a 6 out of 10 for me just because of Magna versus Dante and not. Uh, what would you guys, now that the Ark is officially over, I think this oh, would be fun if we start this whenever we we'll Mini TM, you set me up, bro. Fuck. <laughs> what would you no. guys rank? What would you guys score this arc out of 10? Just right uh, now, just your feelings, your current feelings. 10 out of 10, peak fiction. Oh, oh I'm going to kill you. I'm going <laughs> to throw a fucking in your face. Over, you have been excommunicated from all future podcasts. Oh, <laughs> fuck. I'm going to get you. Oh, my God. I'm going to hunt you down. I feel I'm like... I'm here in silence for about four minutes. Give me something to work with. <sighs> um... All right, Silver, no. Silver, what, what are you giving the arc for real, though? Okay, uh, yeah, I'd probably give it about a five. Yeah, as the most, yeah. but uh, the downs are just too much, you know? Like, they mainly I, for I, reasons you guys said. Like, I actually agree with Mini TM. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten because I think it's a bad arc, but there are actually really good moments in this arc. That this I'm arc gonna... really a solid two. Sage is crazy. <laughs> uh, damn, Sage, damn. that was funny. That was funny. Um, yeah, okay. everyone watching, go ahead and put your. Uh, yeah, everybody in chat. The, uh, this, so this chat is a so. good interaction for the chat. This will be our our group project here. Um, this, we should start doing this. Whenever an arc ends, we should. Like, yeah, that's a that's a good idea, Taco. Look we at your smart and shit, bro. In the chat can give it a score. That was a good idea. Well, um, it was Mini TM's idea. He's the one that said it first. <laughs> <laughs> true. True. 
Uh, what would I give this arc? Um, I feel say, like I would go. Go ahead, Ty. I'm sorry. I personally, I think there have been lots of great moments, good fights in it, and I don't think it's fair to just like call it garbage. The whole thing garbage just because mm -hmm. of like a poor ending, but that ending does affect a lot yeah so i do think the whole may, like down the middle five out of ten maybe yeah. four if i'm being I, uh, I, I agree if i'm being mean and maybe six if i'm being generous but yeah i'm being generous so i give a six <laughs> I, i'm i'm definitely feeling four or five with you there ty like uh, absolutely it's, it's, it's like i don't even well. think it's just the ending it, it this whole thing has been happening like just with the fake cats has been happening so many times that when a fight starts it just killed my investment for a lot of them. Right. Until it it's had just... to, you know, win it back and then kill it by the end of the fight. Uh, when it's does this arc begin properly? Oh, sorry. Like, Good. you know, fights and all that, but it's also hard to ignore stuff. Uh, yeah. actually, when does this arc properly begin? Like, is it the recent string of fights, or do we go back to even like Dante versus Yami and Asta? Uh, I think it's when they invade the spade. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna check I what the say so. wiki says, but I'd say it's when the invasion season? starts. Yeah, yeah I was about to say invasion, when right? when they yeah invasion. when they invade the Spade Castle. Because so, this is overall the Spade Saga. But yeah, this arc itself is just the invasion. Yeah, when they invade the Spade, that's when a bars. When they they go over there, that's when this yeah. arc begins. Um, yes. I the think wiki I, has it starting at 261, and that's when uh, Asta's just in the hospital uh, after i think the fight with uh dante and stuff yeah oh uh, okay yeah that makes sense yeah i would it's probably give this arc a solid i'm thinking do i want to go five uh six nh i'm i'm going with my gut i'm going with five I'm, I'm going five nice. i'm going right uh, down the middle I, all right, then I'm gonna be on the mean side, and I'm gonna give it a four, because um, <laughs> uh, like there there have there have been like some decent moments, like honestly like good moments of the arc, but like I can't like the end the end part of it just brings it down too hard for me. I just because it made it made me so upset, and then it made me feel nothing, and then it took all the, all of my anything away from everything of Black Clover. I'm like, well, this just that's actually sucks. really true. Yeah. I I think I may be be mean too. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really true you know what yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna follow you croc i'm gonna give it a four because when you put it like that yeah, that's a very good point <laughs> that's a very because like i said it last week i'm like man i've never disliked black clover more than i do right now like chapter 329 like fucked with me <laughs> so like yeah, well, all, that, all the, that's uh, all true the good stuff of the arc, it brings it up to a four but it doesn't bring it past that cause yeah because like because like fucking uh you know versus xenon was easily the best part for me uh yep, magna same. versus dante was cool too i liked that fight Outside of that, I genuinely can't think of any other standout moments that I you know like what? besides uh, those, like negative those give moments. Me, like, two points right there, Solid. and then probably the other two points are uh, Lucifero's expressions single-handedly. <laughs> I think that brought the arc up. Uh, well, me. my points well, would be though. Uno versus Zenon, then it'd be Magna versus Dante, then it'd be Mario Leona. I love you, bitch. And then uh, after know. that, it would probably, uh, I guess it would just be the artwork. The artwork was good, this arc. Like, really good in some I'd places. Say, I'd say one point for Uno versus Xenon, and four points for Lucifero smacking the shit out of Nozelle. <laughs> True, yeah. That was a really good intro. Hello, Goku versus yeah. Naruto 22. How about you listen to this ratio? Whoa. <laughs> But uh, okay, so what are what are everybody's final oh, scores? Let's let's go down the line. Taco, what's your final score? Uh, I was gonna give it a six out of ten, but I'm gonna give it a five. I'm gonna cut down a bit. Okay, five out all ten. right. So Croc is four. Silver, what are you at? I'm at five. Okay, so two fives, two uh, two fours. Ty, what are you at? Five. Five. Okay, and then Zenith, what are you at? Four. 
All so right. Solid four point five out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> Spade Kingdom, but it's a shout out to Sage. Solid two. <laughs> yeah. Solid two. Lived. That motherfucker came out the kitchen with Burger King. <laughs> Six, six out of seven. Six or seven. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I was about to say sixty-seven. Damn, he going above and beyond. I respect it. <laughs> like I, I t totally get why some people are going to be a lot more generous because if you just yeah. look at the fights, the fights are like really the fights cool. are pretty good. Like yeah. the art's good. good. There's some the really cool anymore. moments. It's just too much piled up on me for me to be nice to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn, I think I'm gonna have to change my mal score on Black Clover now that I think about it. Uh -oh. Damn. Oh, don't you have a really, oh yeah, Silver, don't you have a really high mal score? Like an 8 out of 10 or something? Uh, that's like my oh, yeah, average, yeah. I haven't yeah. updated that in a while. I, I think mean, my average is like an 8 out of 10. Let me check that, actually. Onto a 7 in now, because and honestly, even the rest of the series before this arc is still pretty good. Like, I mean, I like it. And so, I mean, I don't think yeah, it's not like I'm gonna bring it down to like a two or anything. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, I didn't bring the whole series down to like a four. I still oh, like, yeah. like, I yeah, think the Elf well, Saga no. is great. Yeah, Elf Saga is one of the best arcs that I've like read in recent times, at least in like the newer age of series. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all right, so I have it at a seven right now. Uh, I have it at a seven as well. I think I, I, I think I, uh, I think I may drop it to a six. I'll sit on that for a Damn. little bit, though. I think I, I'll sit on that for a little bit. I well, overall I mean, it, it, it got, and it's good to stay there you. unless it picks up. If it got you to angrily rant for an entire hour, I don't know, man. That's true. Yeah. Live. 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 You know what? I, I'm, here, here it is. Hold on. Hold on. I'll do it. I'll put my screen live up right now. Live reaction. Yeah. I'll put my screen up right now. Hold on. Uh oh yeah, <laughs> I have the chat box underneath. That's why. Okay, so here we are. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna put it at a six for now, chat. We gonna sleep on it and see how it go though. We gonna sleep on it. I'm, I'm gonna yeah. wake up and I'm gonna see like, do I really fuck with this? Oh no. Oh no. I'm definitely like it could get better. It's just I, I don't know. Yeah. Let me put the chat gotta back die. the screen. Yeah. Okay, hold up a second. And I didn't co-sign on that, but... <laughs> All right, y'all ready to talk about a good series, bro? Yes, oh, sir. Let's talk about, about fucking... Yeah. Let's talk about... No. When Let's talk about JJK. Hey, hey, hey! All right. No! Okay. And as much as I would love to do that, unfortunately, I do have to go, so... Goodbye, oh, Take here. care, bro. Yeah. See you, Silver. I just feel bad. I only came late and only talked for five minutes, but yeah. It's all good, bro. Take care. I won't hold it against you. Your opinion is respected and beloved. Hey, remember, Black Clover Peak. Bye. <laughs> Carry on, my favorite. Song. All right, so I, I want to start off with Taco. This is your first time with us here in the JJK section. How did you feel about this week's chapter? Uh, so this chapter wasn't like a super hype battle chapter or anything, but I fucking love this chapter because Yuta's my favorite character. And I, the beginning of this chapter where it's just talking about Yuta, where it's like, you won't be able to be like the peak of sorcerers. You'll never get to that level mm -hmm. because you're just too soft. You're too kind. But then Yuta's like, yeah, but whatever. Like, I fucking <laughs> love that so much. Yeah. yeah like, and I love it so much because I think it's like. I get where like the guy's coming from because sorcery and the way sorcerers are like yeah they are assholes like sorcerers are fucking mm -hmm. usually pretty bad people like they're it's like just the way the sorcery world is built it is built around like crushing you know those below you to get stronger and it's like yuta even though that he's telling him this where it's like you're too soft you'll never make it it's like yeah but he just beat both of you and got all of your points yep <laughs> he 
what Yuta said he was going to do. Before the fight even happened, he was like, I alone am going to get, what was it? Like 400, 400 points. Yep, 400, 400 points. 400 points and make all these rolls and I'm going to do it all. He He's already halfway there. Yep, Just and it's all thanks to out. Yuji too. Yep, it's all thanks to Yuji because he says like, you better thank my comrade because nigga, I may yeah. have murked you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah like, exactly. No, you done it if you had to. Yeah, it was like, man, listen, shit. That's why, uh, <laughs> Yuta's, Yuta's my favorite character because, okay, so to let chat know, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago. I like you just my favorite character because oh. to me it's like <laughs> oh, he, he's a uh, such a that'll be he's such a good person like he's a hero <laughs> but he's not afraid to do what's necessary like he will kill someone if it means saving someone else but he will always try to talk it out first he will always try to avoid violence but if that doesn't work he will fuck you up and it's like to me that's like the coolest type of character or just like the coolest type of person because it's like it's not too far either side where it's like oh they're bloodlusted and angry or they're just a fucking pushover it's like no he's just a fucking he's just cool mm -hmm. like to me that's like a very those are very admirable traits someone who you know is willing to talk it out is kind will avoid conflict but if it comes to blows he's going to win yeah Ah. But um, yeah, this the, this chapter was great. I don't know what to think about all the manga shit. That was weird. I liked it, but I was like, what am I reading? Yeah, I, I, I do Bro. like all the new characters we're getting though. Like it's fun. Yeah, it's it is the fun. Uh, it's it's, fun. it's the yeah, author the, from Radiant, bro. It's the author from Radiant. No, like You're okay. Right. So here's the thing. <laughs> we can't of, fucking discuss the mangaka yet because there's something between the whole thing. With you, yeah. And the guy. Miwa, He's, Miwa, she is going. Miwa. To die. <laughs> okay, so I want to ask you guys, which side do you think she's on? Do you think she's on our side or the the big bad jujitsu high side? I mean, uh, like, if I, she's against us, I don't see that I being mean, too much like, of a problem. <laughs> but, right? <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I made the, the take on Twitter. I was like, listen, Miwa is either going to murk some people or she's about to get murked herself. There's no in between. <laughs> like, because yeah, the last time uh, we really saw her in the Shibuya incident was when she ran up on Kenjaku. She's like, I am putting my life into this fucking sword strike right now. And Kenjaku said, Damn, that's cute. <laughs> like, oh my God. Absolutely bitched her. I was like, No, not my Miwa, bro. Please. I feel, I don't know how to feel. I mean, like, obviously she's here for a reason. And I like Miwa because she's cute and adorable but now she looks super serious and like you can't even see your eyes i don't know what the fuck is going on um but yeah I, I'm, I'm not sure if she's on our side or like big bad jujitsu side because like even though she was against mm. uh like the higher ups and their way of thinking during the sister school event she still went down and did it so like i don't know <laughs> you know you know what's something um i genuinely really love about jjk is oh. It's power system, the way it's been set up, the way it's been built, uh, is very similar to Nen in the yes. regard that, like, it's a very emotion-based power system. The emotional state and the mindset of these characters affect their powers. 
and it's canon that they do so it's like when you see a character show up and it's like you know they've gone through some shit they've gone through changes it's not so much like oh they went and trained it's like no they could be way more dangerous now just because you don't know what their state of mind is yep <laughs> like, you don't know what they're thinking and it's like well that's kind of scary yeah like, well, they could just be a fucking they could be way stronger yeah than right miwa like, has never had menacing look. kanji around her fucking body like this before and now mm -hmm. she does <laughs> You're not gonna yeah, like me when I get mildly upset. It's gonna be a problem. Years of years. Yeah. Hey, Goku versus Naruto about to read peak. We love it. That's like the greatest compliment I can give because I fucking adore Hunter Hunter. Yes. To death, especially Nen. Nen is my favorite power system ever. So just comparing it to Nen is like, trust me, I love this fucking power yeah. system. It's really good. <laughs> it's really fucking good, man. And like that's the thing too. It's just like you said, Taco. We have no idea what me was thinking. Because the last time we really saw her, at least emotionally, it was her reacting to Mekamaru's death. So she's like, she she was like broken up about that. And then you have what happened, mm -hmm. like I mentioned earlier with Kenjaku. So like this area here, I mean, she's a bit far back from what we see. I don't think she's walking with her sword. So like, I maybe she is and I just don't see it. But like from our perspective here, it doesn't look like she's walking with a weapon. So I have no idea what she's about to do. I mean, unless she has some fucking new hand to hand. What's her style called? I think new shadow style. I know uh, her and uh, fuck. What is his name? Kusakabe. Her and Kusakabe. They're like practitioners and that shit. So I would love to see like different styles of that thing. Because I, I, I don't know. It's, it's like you said, like there's so many different powers in Jujutsu Kaisen. I love to see all of them. Like, I mean, obviously it's never going to happen because that would take so much time. But I love getting more information on curse techniques and seeing how people can work them and things like that. Um, it's one of the reasons why, like, I love seeing Megumi fights. I mean, uh, on, on top of him just being one of my favorite characters in the series. But, like, seeing him use his powers in different ways and coming up with different ways on how to use it, I love that shit. So, uh, any flesh out on any curse technique, I'm always here for it. Um, but, yeah, if she does end up using some new Shadow Style shit, I'd love it. Um, outside from that... That is literally the only thing that I can predict from her. I I got no clue. <laughs> I got no clue. Maybe she's just lost, bro. Uh, bro she's about she's to die. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what if we cut to Miwa and she has like 100 like points? Like bro. bro. Maybe she just went for a walk and the sun's in her eye. That's why she's, you know, she's looking down. Bro, she's about to die then, bro. She about she's, to get uh, cooked. She's gonna die and get revived. She's gonna die and get revived by Black Clover. No oh, yeah, shit. Say, I wanna say like I'm not uh, percent about this, but I think we might be literally nowhere right now. <laughs> the, the fucking uh the manga, the Shueisha bit in this yeah. chapter, where the the editor or whatever he was just like criticizing the manga, saying like, "Well, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad." And then the guy gets angry and breaks his finger. I bet that was such a cathartic. Like, I like, know. I was about to say. I know. I Akutami has, has wanted to do that. Probably like, fuck, dude. I love this. Like, I know. I every manga story. author was just like, holy fuck, man. Like, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank. You. Literally, Akutami's DMs after this chapter. God bless you, brother. <laughs> God Fingers bless. Don't bend like that. Well, they don't need to. It's art. I can. You know, I can Akutami's literally. Editor was reading yeah. this like, uh, bro, are you good? Like, <laughs> bro, <laughs> that nigga was reading that with nerve his breath paper shaking like <sighs> <laughs> you, you know that he just sort of like like he sort of rubbed on his finger a little bit after and they're like oh, okay it's still good it's still i can <laughs> literally i can ma right. imagine every editor talking to their author and the author's just like so you read that new jujitsu kaisen this week yeah why do you ah <laughs> 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 oh shit uh, yeah i can only imagine how good like I, I, that man probably nutted as soon as he drew that panel. He's like, yup, this is it. <laughs> this is what I wanted to do my whole life. <laughs> God, I know that I can just imagine. Yeah, man. I can only imagine how nice that must have felt for him. Yeah, I think is... just has such a, he's so good at introducing new characters. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, I don't. It, it, he does it is so a, many of this arc. Yeah, right? Like most of the people he's introduced. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. They're just whenever a new character gets introduced, I always get excited. God. Like, what do they do? Like, right. And yeah, that's cause... even as far back. Like, this is always, like, I, obviously, it's been really playing into this arc. But yeah. this has always been a thing where, like, Akutami will introduce someone and I'm immediately interested. Like, I don't think I'll ever forget Toto's yeah, yeah. intro where he asked Megumi what type of woman he's into. <laughs> like, that's so one of the fucking scenes, good. Like, hands down. Um... But with it, with like yeah, with him introducing new characters, it's phenomenal always. Because usually the characters just themselves are always super interesting. Like yep. I don't, like there hasn't been any like super, I guess mundane character that I feel like at least that I can remember. And then just aside from the actual characters, their powers are always wild. So it's always like two different things. Yeah, I enjoy both quite a bit. And it's so much fun too because like in different types of shonen like usually the reveal of a new character is like a chapter ender like oh like I, I remember bleach used to do that like oh who's this shadowy figure who just stepped on the scene or something like that but no akutami lets him breathe he's just like oh here's reggie and here's all the bullshit he's doing right now <laughs> and he like introduces them or like even if it is like an end of chapter thing like i remember hakari uh, obviously in this chapter um but yeah when he was first introduced him and kidati they were literally just like front and center that here they are <laughs> like, here's what they're doing it's not really like an ominous thing and it's just it's so good to see which by the way i know i'm jumping around right now hakari bring the fucking fur coat back my man take this uniform off my nigga you look like a garbage bag Take this shit off he really now. <laughs> Take it off, bro. I could not. Like, I saw that. I saw him post it up on the Ferris wheel. I said, God fucking damn it. <laughs> like, I, I just think back to the sweet fur coat that he had. Oh, my God. He looks so cool. He looks so cool. I like it. Yes. And now he's got the uniform on. And I like, I know it's symbolic. He's on our side. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. That's God. boring. Fucking throw the drip I, back on, I bro. I fucking love, I love the ending of this chapter where he's like, make me hate you so <laughs> bad that I could kill you. And he's like, I would never I read your shitty read manga. Your yeah, I don't want to read your he's, bullshit. He's literally crying. He says, why would you say such a mean yeah, thing? Yeah, why like, would you say this? Crazy. He's like, bro, why the fuck <laughs> you say <laughs> that? I want to know what his curse technique is. About to go crazy. Bro, his curse Cause technique cause like, is going to be like the- uh, we had- Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> The last time we had a manga writing character, it's uh, that I know of, it's fucking Rohan in JoJo's. Bro, I was and just gonna say, ability is broken. I was gonna say it's gonna be like the uh, the one kid from Class One B where he just writes out automatic oh. <laughs> yeah, It's gonna I be love real. That. I love like that ability. Magic. Mm. Oh my god, yeah, that'd be no. crazy too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just thought the first tool feeling was kind of funny. Cause it was just like, oh, good. There's still electricity here. Just like, but why are you here? Why would I want to ride a Ferris wheel with a dude? But you, you agreed, and I'm gonna <laughs> put it out. I love it how we're in like the apocalypse it. too, end of the world shit. Just like everything has gone to hell in Japan. Anyway, I gotta meet this deadline for my manga. I feel like that's commentary in itself. <laughs> 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 like oh shit oh my god everything's getting blown up niggas are dying just a whole bunch of curse techniques going crazy oh my god anyway gotta meet this deadline <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> but yeah i mean i get it. my man has passion i guess the manga is, the, the manga industries are still open uh shit rain or shine we're here baby <laughs> we're here we're writing shit we're putting out stories. I mean, you got to put out something to break the, the fucking shit. Break all the terrible stuff going on outside. You know, someone just got murdered on my front doorstep the other day. He just disintegrated. I don't know why. But, hey, but I got that like new Shonen Jump. Date, you know what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, damn. All right. That's sick, bro. <laughs> this is kind of jumping back a bit. But I do really like... I like it that... um they created the point transfer rule just so they could save each other just like so they could help yes. like, their own friends i want more takako but also it's like that rule has also probably saved so many lives yes because now you no longer need to kill someone to get their points 
and that's really going like, to point out who the dickheads are because niggas are still there are going to be a bunch of niggas out there who's still just killing. But yeah, like, bro, I, I'll I give like you my points. Lot. Yeah, no, I don't care. I and wouldn't be kill surprised. Him. So, because uh, we were talking about this when I first caught up about the fact that, like, right now, as far as we know, there's really only two, like, major villains, and that's Kenjaku and Sukuna. And I was thinking, like, this calling game will probably introduce some other, like, minor villains and stuff. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if it introduces a bunch of new allies, too. Like, we might get a bunch of villains and allies just from this arc. We'll, this arc will show us who the strongest are and which ones are cool and which ones are assholes, essentially. <laughs> True, yeah. Which I I'm, also I'm really, really like, too, um, <clears throat> speaking of the strongest, I love how it's brought up again, how it's just like, yeah, you have to, like, overwhelming aggression, disregard everything else, like a calamity in order to become the strongest. I'm like, ah, shit, yes, bring that shit up again. I brought it up in my UG video about how that ideal is wrong, and I can't fucking wait for it to be proven wrong. It's gonna be sick. I can't wait for that shit. Hell yeah. Maybe Talk about wrong. it all the time. <laughs> I love it, man. I'm so happy. I just, bro, what if you're just wrong, bro? What if, hey, like, if I'm just shoot? wrong, then that's okay. Because Jujutsu Kaisen will still be good. But so I was gonna no. say, as long as it's still good. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, as long as it's still good, I don't you, care. You, YouTuber, you can't be wrong. You can't be wrong, bro. <laughs> as a YouTuber, that's that. Bro, I bro, I'm just listen. You know that is half the job. Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> that is half the job. I literally, yeah. to put into perspective. I made a video about Lady Nagant and maybe five days later was proven wrong. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I mean, shit, I may make a video, another video about Nagant soon just because I miss her and I want to talk about Nagant again. But anyway, the point is, <laughs> I made a theory and was wrong like five days later. <laughs> So, hey, you Solid. know, being wrong is just, it comes with the territory, and that's okay. If people want to come back and say, like, hey, Sailor, you were wrong, that ups my video in the engagement and in the algorithm. So, hey, I yeah. appreciate it. Well, uh, <laughs> at least. <laughs> yeah. I've went from just being annoyed by it to just being, like, whatever. Um, oh, is it lagging a little bit? I hope not. We're just going to keep going. Um, Okay. <clears throat> let me look around and let me see yeah cause I, I don't know if I got anything else to really say about the chapter I mean it's good but like, yeah you know, I was about to say I think it's like a very it's a very chill chapter this week which isn't a bad it's, thing it's just very chill this week okay yeah now we're, we're back up to where we usually are okay good cool. um but yeah it, it was a very chill week uh in terms of manga which makes sense again holidays are just a big off week in general that's all right um but is there anything else you guys would like to say about this chapter before we move on i think i'm i'm good i just want I to say um, i'm really happy i caught up and yes sir i'm, I'm excited to talk to y'all about the new chapter god i cannot out. wait when like jujitsu kaisen starts going crazy again and we could all talk about it then that'll be sick <laughs> i hope that the manga creator guy becomes basically the Rohan self insert character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be phenomenal. Akutami draws like a picture of him hugging him. Nah, I wanted to be yeah. a villain. <laughs> Dead ass. If his thing, if his fucking, uh, if his curse technique is dead ass, just heaven's door, that would be hilarious. I wouldn't even be mad at I it. Think it'd be that'd great. be fantastic. Yeah. No, I think it'd yeah. Be great. All manga cuz in, uh, in anime and manga, regardless of if any or fear or not, you just have that. Yeah. I feel like it'll just be a situation, though, where, like... I, no, honestly, because Heaven's Door works like that, so it could just be Heaven's Door. <laughs> it could just deadass be Heaven's Door. Yeah, That's Heaven's fine. Door could be a curse technique, I mean... Yeah, right? So, hey, who knows, right? But, anyway... It's not, uh, yeah, it's not like, it's not like yeah, stretching it's powers or anything like fits. Yeah. Uh, I think we are ready to transition into our big special this week, Goodbye Airy. So, uh, this was a long boy. How did you guys feel about it? I absolutely Wait. adore this. I feel good about it. Yes. cement Fujimoto as just my favorite mangaka. Yeah. Yeah, I only like this I, stuff. I can feel uh, that. Yeah. yeah. No, um, 
like this is definitely like shit. It's so good. I'd have to like I have to think like I I, I don't know how he does it, man. Like. He, he just creates, like, his stories feel so fucking personal. And, like, mm -hmm. I connect with these characters even when they're on, like, dumb shit. And, like, I don't know what it is, man. Like, these stories are so much, they're, they're so much fun to read. I mean, like, I was already starting to get into my feelings at the beginning where uh, his mom, uh, fucking Mamima, uh, over here. You look like an older Makima, shouts out. Um, but yeah, Bobby like, Bola. yeah, I, I was, I was sad when they were like, Hey, well, first off when the mom was like, record me, like, even like when I die, I was like, Oh damn. Like, that's really fucking sad. Um, but like when you like, have these moments on my birthday, yeah. Right. It's like, can we fucking not, but like you have these moments where everything's fun and then it cuts. It's like, dad's crying again. It's like, Oh Oh, it's like yeah we went yeah. out like every we went out on a family night it was great um mom made a parfait oh we're watching a movie dad's crying again by himself <laughs> or like the one time where it's just like yeah uh here i am i'm watching my mom and dad sleep just in case my mom dies <laughs> like that that You're shit just destroyed me I, man i, 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 I think would... it's in... oh sorry go uh, just real quick, I just want to say, I would literally need to just sit down and read this, like, multiple times to really dissect everything in it. Because yes. there's, yeah. there's just so much shit that he's saying with this story. God, it's man. Really crazy. It's ahead, so man. beautiful. I yeah, think, God. like, even just for little characters, like, you know, like, the main character's dad. Are, like, there's this really nice little story you can kind of read into it where... You know, he's dealing with the fact that his wife is dying. He's also dealing with the fact that his wife is an abusive mom and he doesn't know what to yeah, say. Or he how doesn't to know stop how to it. handle it. And yeah. now this whole thing with the movie's happening and he's just trying to be supportive and stuff like that. Like just and and all of that is very like most of it is pretty implicit. Like you have to mm. sort of read into it, but it's definitely there and it's really impressive. Yeah, cause I I never thought about that like that way until you said it. No way, man. Cause like, oh, man. I brought this up. Um, I wrote this in chat like after I first read it, and I still don't know how to like properly word it. But to me, like Fujimoto, he has such a way with writing dialogue where it's like characters don't really speak like how real people speak. They they speak kind of oddly, and they're mm -hmm. very blatant. Like they're very like forward but it almost makes them feel even more real like it almost just it's such mm. a like sincerity to it the way characters act and speak even though it's not reality it's still so real i don't know it's such yeah a, it's such an odd way of writing dialogue that i've literally never seen any other author do and I think that's a really it's, good thing to to bring up here because that's kind of the concept of this entire one shot, right? Trying to figure out what's mm -hmm. real and what's fiction, and uh, like even up to the end with the fucking last spread, you know, like yeah, this whole thing has just been trying to figure out like what's real, what's not, all this other stuff, and it's like, ugh, man, <laughs> this when thing you, is so good. Yeah, when you see something, when you watch something, it's only one aspect of it it's not you're not really getting the full picture and i think uh i think him releasing this story right now is actually really really nice because i think you know in the age we live in with like social media and stuff it's like this is a really like important message I yeah think, to get across to people because a lot of people like you know live their lives on social media or like see things and they think it's real they're like oh look at this guy like he posted on Twitter that he's, you know, he went to the vacation in the Bahamas and, and stuff. It's like most of that shit's not real. Yeah. Most of these like influencers and shit you see on social media are fakes. They're faking shit. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know. It's like I said, I would really have to just sit down and dissect every fucking panel in this like one shot to really like. Yeah. I mean, that, pro that proved it's something else. That proved it's something good for the fact that you yeah. can do that in the first place. Yeah. And uh, I yeah, just, I, I, I love 
the overall message well it's not the overall message because there are so many messages being told in this story and it's yes they're all of them are so good um but i love the message of choosing how you remember people like when the, like the dad straight up says that like you can choose how you remember somebody and you can like connect with other people and you can help them see how wonderful this person was to you by showing them those moments and like conveying those moments to them. Like when uh, Aerie's friend came up to her, uh, came up to Utah and was just like, hey, you know, like she was kind of an asshole, you know, like she was kind of stingy. You're like, yeah, you know, like she wasn't that great all the time. But she says at the end, like, you know what though? I think I'm gonna remember her for how you showed her in the movie. Like that was so sweet. Like, that was so fucking sweet, man. And I, I think that's a very, that in itself is a very powerful message to just, you know, sometimes, man, we, we fucking, we, we die, you know, sometimes it's it, like shit happens and the people we, we love and the people we know are just gone. And it's important to not really forget that, you know, like it's important to just remember like all of those moments and how you feel about them. And you can convey like their their memory lives on in you, and I think that's fucking it, beautiful. <laughs> like I, it really no is. Like Fujimoto it. just has such a way where it's like I think going back to the dialogue, uh, a better way I can put it is like he just writes with pure human emotion. Yes, he just he just knows how to bottle pure human emotion and put it into his so words. So good I, about it's it. It's so man. unbelievable. It's so fucking it, good. it really just hits me so hard every time I think about it. And like, uh, cause this and looked back, uh, look back, sorry. Um, mm -hmm. they both talk about death in a way and like how to really deal with it. And the like this whole thing reminds me like it, his like his stories feel so personal. Like I said, like I can connect to these characters, even if I don't relate to them, they feel so relatable. So like back when Look Back came out and uh, the main character's friend died and she wrote like, hey, this manga is going on hiatus. I was like, oh fuck. Like that immediate, like that hit me because like it made me think like, how often does this happen in real life, you know? Like how often mm -hmm. does that, this sort of thing, like how often is this a thing? We were just talking about it with uh, Akutami with how, like how much the manga could probably relate to him with the shit that he was saying in this chapter. Um, but honestly, yeah, like I, I just thought about that and how many people could relate to that and how many people in the industry could relate to that. And like it, it like I said, it just really resonated and connected with me. Even though I don't fucking know how difficult it is to be a mangaka, I don't know any of that shit. I still like Worst job in the world. Yeah, right. It still, yeah, honestly, still fucking hit me, and I was like, man. So like, in this one too, where it's like a guy making a movie and like everybody's shitting on him because of how it ended, and um, all of this other stuff, all of this fantastical or not fantastical, but like all of this like uh, realistic fiction and all this other shit. Um, like there are a bunch of aspects to it that still just hit me. Like when we find out the mom is not really that great of a person, I was like, oh fuck. Like I was the audience. I was just like the audience. Exactly. I was just like the audience this whole time, man. And it, it felt so like, it, it felt like it took nothing for this man to do it. Like it, like you said, taco, it just comes to him. He can just convey human emotions so easily. And it's mm -hmm. it's so fucking good, man. Like, God, I I know, I know you guys have been waiting, uh, but I I can confirm, Tatsuki Fujimoto is like really fucking good at his job. I know you guys were waiting for me to like bring in that hot take, but <laughs> Fujimoto is honestly a he fucking deserves genius. all the success he's gotten. Like yes, because Chainsaw Man is already like it already blew up in sales. Which is impressive as fuck for a manga to go without an anime. Once that fucking anime comes out, and if it's as good as it looks like it's gonna be, we're gonna be seeing Chainsaw Man nonstop, and I'm fucking I'm okay ready. With that. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm ready for that, it. Yeah. He's yeah. basically I been I'm given. I'm happy to. Mm, I'm happy to get on Twitter and see Chainsaw Man yeah. every fucking day. Like I'm right. I'm yeah. Well, it's yeah. just he's yeah. been given what every like author dreams of. Because of Chainsaw Man's success, he has 
complete creative freedom to do whatever the hell he wants. Mm -hmm. And now he's put out two of the best one shots I've ever read. Yeah, yeah literally. exactly. Two, two of my yep. favorite one shots ever. Yep. <laughs> All in the span of like what, like a couple months too? It's like Jesus Christ, yeah, man. It's crazy. Can't wait for all the chainsaw man hot takes. It's gonna be great. This dude it's is insane. It's one of those insane. things. Where it's like now, if Fujimoto puts out anything, I don't care. I'm going to read it. Yeah. Exactly. Like I, I, I don't I, even care. Like, I was. Yeah, I don't like, care. Yeah, I was with know. that with uh Good Good with. Uh, when Look Back came out, because I was just like, damn, I didn't really like Fire Punch all too much. I'm still about to buy these volumes because it's Fujimoto. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I was like, you can trust. yeah, I was like, these volumes, they look fucking sick, and it's Fujimoto. So I'll support it. it it's everything that this guy does, man. <laughs> like, it's so, it's just so fucking good. It's just so, and like, it's so it's like you said earlier tacos like you you really broke it down in a great way where like he's really good with making characters honest and sincere like when yuta like they're asking him like why the fuck did you put an explosion at the end of the movie he's like well explosions are cool dude it's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> like like yeah like i i can't be mad at that you know because like there's no like super deep like introspective thing and like it, it's just the thing was cool and then we find out later where it's like why'd you run away from your mom like why'd you run away from the hospital and it, it's just like dude i didn't want to watch my mom die like it's just yeah. so it's such a simple thing it's not like a deep and intricate thing because it doesn't have to be it's just i i didn't want my last moments of my mom to be like ruined or tarnished or anything like that i just wanted to remember her as like how i portrayed her in this movie and yeah, that, a good, yeah like, a, a good loving caring mom exactly and that goes into the whole thing about like choosing how you can remember people and it's so fucking good man god this is so good dude <sighs> So do you guys want to get into the whole, how much of this do you think is real and how much is just the movie? Well, okay, so I've been thinking about that a lot. Boy, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> because it is interesting. I talked about this um, on Twitter a bit already, but just the idea of like, the whole thing is the movie, I think. Yeah, I think just, so too. Like the whole, like, I don't think there is a single moment that isn't like on camera. Now that doesn't mean none of it is real because I think you have scenes like when he's talking about like killing himself, like how he's going to kill himself and everything. I think that did actually happen and he filmed it because we got to remember is like, while like a lot of the stuff with, you know, Ari is acted, the beginning part is entirely just you know a documentary i was about it's to just say him. it's just the, the, the fiction thing. comes in him picking and choosing what he puts in yeah he filmed his life everything in this is has some type of reality to it everything in this yeah. is real to us to an extent but it's all a fictionalized like through his camera lens version of his life yeah. it's everything that we see in here is what he wanted us to see but mm -hmm. everything that's in it is real. Like, Ari, the way she's portrayed, it's like, I think she, to her, like, to him, she was that way, even though she wasn't really that way in real life. But he wanted mm -hmm. to portray her this way because, that, like Sailor said, this is how he wanted to remember her. Yeah. Even the part where it shows the, the other student where she's like, you know, she was kind of a bitch, right? And he's like, yeah, it's like, I think he put that in there. Because yeah, I think like, that's in there. That is, that's yeah. her, that's what she is. But he also portrays her differently. I think I think this entire thing from page one to nine one ninety nine is a movie. Exactly. I think I, we I watched yeah. a movie he created about his life. And yeah. it, it's interesting because it's like I do think there is like some level of acting with the airy scenes mm -hmm. because it's like there's all things she she usually wears glasses. So I wouldn't be surprised if she was like 
you know, she has this vanity thing in real life where she's like, all right, we're going to redo the conversation we just had, but I'm not going to have my glasses this time. Mm. Yeah. Like shit like that. It's all connected. And those those scenes where oh, it's like, was... him vlogging, those are the scenes that make you think like, oh, well, that's not a part of the movie. But I think they are. Exactly. He, he's still filming. Like even the scene with the girl, but she's like, oh, yeah, Ari was a bit of a bitch. It starts with him filming a cat. And then she's like, what are you filming? He's like, oh, a cat. Mm -hmm. Well, another interesting thing about it, too, is just paneling. Like, Fujimoto is known oh my for God, just yeah. some insane paneling. In this, it's all just rectangles. Like, it's meant to be the camera. Yep. Yep. Like, it's meant I to be the screen that. that you're yeah. watching it on. That's so, a very good thing, yeah. It's all camera shit. It's like all the rectangles are like a film reel. Exactly. Like yeah. You're going through it like a film reel. It's yeah, it's fucking great. God damn. It's so good. He's brilliant. <laughs> He's he really is so good. <laughs> it's, God I, damn. I think man. what's so incredible about this story too is just like and this is like a smaller theme, but it's also I think one of the most important, is it's like what is like a fantasy? Like, how do you define what that is, that pinch of fantasy? And it's like, at the end of the day, Aerie being a vampire, that doesn't fucking cut it. Because who cares? <laughs> what does that matter? That doesn't change anything about the story, really. She dies in the end. That's whatever. Yeah. That pinch of fantasy cool. is that she doesn't wear glasses. That pinch of fantasy is that she was nicer that pinch of fantasy is that there was a cool explosion at the end the fantasy isn't fantastical elements it's the things that makes everything seem nicer mm, yeah <laughs> that's a very good way of putting it too yeah i never thought about that way i love this one it, it's, it's really so good. fucking good <laughs> it's, so, it's good. so fucking good man like Again, like the one moment where like she, it's her in the hospital bed, and she's just like, "I want to uh, want to make a movie that will make them all ball their eyes out," and like everyone in the auditorium is watching it, and you just hear people crying. It's like, oh damn, <laughs> like god damn, man. I mean, shit, <laughs> like. I, I gotta I gotta reread this whole thing honestly because I've only read it once and like I gotta see like I I it's, need to fucking see everything and like is I've been this all a movie it while or... we were talking it's yeah, a same. movie mm -hmm. yeah. it's a movie about a man's life and the tragedies and the pain he suffered while simultaneously being a movie that helps him cope with those feelings I yeah I can imagine that he made this movie to let himself like process these feelings he was feeling mm -hmm. because that's, like that's Zipina a good said, way of making fantasy. it it is it's you know remembering the things that remembering things that might not have been so great better than they actually were mm -hmm. making you know reality more exciting or just more you know or happy. palatable yeah yeah as i say yeah more bearable for sure, or none of it happened in the movie was written to highlight some so, some of the social commentary. So what did you think, Brock? I thought it was really good. Uh, from what a hot take. Take. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, anything <laughs> he puts out is just really good. I agree with earlier. Um, anything he puts out will be read by, by me if fuck? it's possible. Um, what is yeah, happening? Yeah, let me do. I mean, uh, it's always more to say, but like. It's, yeah, no, I don't talk about a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I, I could talk about, like, if y'all just put me in front of on. a camera and a mic. Yeah, I, I think, could uh, just uh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Like, the vamp. Or like, 
you know, the Hopefully, it's not coming across like, bad for y'all guys. Or none of that yeah. Like, okay. So no. Yeah. Too. Hold on. Wait. Hey. 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 Can y'all chill for a second? I'm trying to figure something out. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out these like audio issues. I don't know why they're happening. Maybe do I pause the music? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. It's like every time someone talks, it's like a weird like wave thing. I don't know. Oh, this is okay. this is like never like happened before. That's why I was wondering. I was like, is this just like I? Yeah, same thing. I I thought it was just me. <laughs> like I I was like, it, yeah yeah okay. So no, it's yeah. I don't know why. Maybe it's a Discord thing because like I it, have heard it, but only on Sailor, not on. Okay, yeah, so yeah, okay, just so this is a on our end. this is a this is a Discord <laughs> thing then cuz I'm I'm all connected here on YouTube. Uh everything is fine on on this end. I don't know why, like I got my fucking Wi-Fi booster behind me and I reset my internet before we started. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh well, this is weird. <laughs> Hold on. Let me try to leave the call, and then I'll come back real quick, fellas. I'll be right back. Uh, little did they know I'm just going to do this podcast without them. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, I don't know what's going on, really. Uh, this whole thing is kind of strange. Um, hopefully, I'll, I'll give it a little bit longer, and then we'll try to hop in just for – some of our final thoughts for this chapter on airy because uh it sounded like they were trying to i, I was trying to fix it this whole time but uh <laughs> it sounded like they were just kind of going through and talking about everything that i wanted to talk about so not much for me to mention there this whole fucking one shot is just amazing <laughs> honestly i know i've said it a lot so far um but this whole thing genuinely like it it i i shouldn't say it like blew me away because it's fujimoto right like obviously it's going to be really good but all of the the stuff that i picked up on in this first read through about like how you remember people and connecting with those people or connecting with other people about how you feel and uh like properly conveying all of those emotions through the screen and trying to get others to feel the same way you do and having them remember people the same way you do. And just all of that to me is very beautiful. And uh, just, I guess, as a creator and like, I, I don't know. It's so weird, right? Because like I've said it before, like I, I don't make manga or anything like that. But like as a creator, like that felt so beautiful to me. <laughs> like, I don't think I'll ever make something. Um Yes, it is very peak. It's you should read it. <laughs> um, I but I I don't think I'll ever make something like that, right? I don't think I'll ever make something where uh, I I like have to do something to memorize somebody. Okay, yeah, no, that audio thing is still happening. Um, so I don't know. Maybe it's just like a a fucking thing. Hold on, I'll be right back, chat. I'll be right back. Okay. Promise you won't miss me too much, okay? I'll be right back. I'm not going to end the stream or anything. Just give me a second, okay? We'll be right back. All right. Let's see. If I play some music again, I try to I try to just reset something real quick. Let's see if this works. Let me try to. Uh, the music sounds like it's coming through fine. Let's try to rejoin everybody else. Well, bro, I fucking love. Lava okay. Pass. That shit Everything was like know, shit. I All right, I think we're good now. Event, so Same. I've learned yeah. against my will. I think we're okay. How now. you doing there? Uh, uh, are we streaming right now? I yeah. I hope you stream. We yeah, just start yeah. talking about smiling friends. <laughs> <laughs> and then that led to llamas with hats that fucking I was, YouTube series I was from gonna, years ago. I was gonna ask if we, if we were still alive, because it doesn't matter yet. <laughs> I don't care. Matter. Llamas yeah. with hats is the shit. Yeah. Like, fucking watch it. Yeah, Alright, yeah, good. I fixed it. 
we're good now. All right. <laughs> I was paid by Smiling Friends to promote it. You should watch it. I'm not really getting yeah. paid though. I gotta watch that. I got. I was thinking about checking it out. Yeah. Yeah, man. Let it's, us know. It's All because right. literally what happened was. I went down the Chris Chan rabbit hole. Oh my Why? God. No. Why? No, you know not, what? Screen, you know what? I'm taking away your talking <laughs> privileges right now. Anyway, goodbye, Aerie oh, was really good. Y'all, like, this is, at, like, the other night in, in our voice chat, we fucking read out his letters from prison. That shit had us dying. Oh, my God. Oh, I wish I was there. We'll have a, yeah, one day, I promise you, I, we will force Sailor to do an entire Chris Chan podcast. Dude, we'll no, that. you won't. Death Battle is now a part of the Chris Chan lore. It's amazing. But anyway, back to goodbye, oh, Aerie. Let's shit. just fucking finish this up before it lags like shit some more, and it's just... I'm Sorry, Shitty. Oh, yeah, I have nothing else to say. All right, well, uh, all, all right. right. <laughs> Actually, no, wait, wait, I did have something. I wanted to bring up what uh, Sosuke said in the chat where he was like, or none of it actually happened and the movie was written to highlight some of the social com commentary. So it's like either it's all a movie and everything in it was real, but like fictionalized or none of it was real. Like all of the scenes filmed with the mom in the hospital were fake. Like they, they were just, it was a movie. The entire thing from beginning to end was all just a movie, which I don't agree with that. Yeah, but I don't the agree beauty with it, of, but like... The beauty of this manga is you can interpret it any way you want and it's completely justified. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you could literally- None of it, none of okay, it is Sky, real, it is just a manga, you know? I'm sorry, Ty, I called you Sky. <laughs> I know that's yeah. basically a story. So, literally the same person. Yeah. So. Say, is it a compliment or an insult to either of them? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's I however Ty takes it. Depends on whether or not he's talking about uh, Kingdom Hearts or whether or not he's talking about Rent a Girlfriend. So yeah. That, yeah. Ty, Ty uh, do you want? Do you want to be Sky? Do you want to be Sky Cadet 14? I'll <laughs> Why is this happening? Why is this? Yeah, happening? Why not? Oh wait, yeah, real quick. Uh, make sure you guys follow Sky Cadet Thirteen at Twitter, please. Uh, no. really appreciate that. Nah, he's not here to defend himself. It doesn't have the same. Well, that's why he would get more followers now. It'd be funny. Well, now he's not here to object, so you know there's yeah. no third party telling you. God, that yeah, damn, goodbye, man. Airy. I yes. think it's a pretty good one shot. I I tried so hard to get that final spread in the uh in the thumbnail for this video <laughs> like i spent straight up a couple hours trying to make a banger thumbnail out of that panel and it just was not working so we ended I up with what we got. Got, i think it's, yeah i was about really to say good. i like I, this I think thumbnail. it looks better it's just fuck. i really yeah. want to use that panel. Yeah, that, that panel was fucking great yeah that was very nice we got fucking uh risu on the fucking thumbnail <laughs> god Shouts out, but yeah. But, uh, you guys I have think mom? no, Any honestly, I think statements? uh I I guess in terms of closing statements uh for just the pod in general, uh this was a lot of fun despite some technical difficulties for some reason. Um, this was a lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait for all the other series to come back next week. That'll be a good time talking about everything. I'm really excited for One Piece, JJK, MHA, uh, Black Clover. Is anything huh? on break? I don't think so. I could yeah, be wrong. Full, uh, we got a full podcast next week. And, yeah. Uh, sorry, everyone, that you had to deal with technical difficulties and then us talking about nonsense just to hear, hey, podcast over. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, that else we can really uh, we say. We kind of said everything. Like yeah. it's a good one shot. I guess you know we could go through it page by page. Like be like, yeah, that's a good page. <laughs> yeah, that's a good page too. Yeah, those but, three uh, pages. Those three panels of just blackness. Yeah, right. You don't understand. The the blackness symbolizes the camera being off. <laughs> <laughs> What? It's like I'm joking, but I'm also <laughs> serious. Like, yeah, it does, but <laughs> like, whatever. What? Yeah, That's bro. Wild. Yeah, bro. Right. I'll anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna end the stream Thanks here. For more sick analyzations. We're gonna head on. out here. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Bye, bye. 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 Have a wonderful time. 
All right, there we go. 